Yo, all right, what's up? What's good, guys? As you can see here, we have the box, which the bag is in, and yep, yeah, let's just open it right now, and I'll be talking about it. Or before I open it, let me say a few things. So I inoculated it on January 3rd, so about 16 days ago. And from there, I just inoculated it, put it up in my closet up there, and let it sit for about a week. And I was checking it every couple of days and I didn't see nothing at all. But on the seventh day, that's when I, I saw the first sign of mycelium. And 10 days later, here we are. So yeah, let's look at it. Oh yeah. Look at that. So, it is going kind of slow, I think. There's some up there, you can't see. But there's little, like, chunks. But yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm so happy that I didn't contaminate nothing there. And you don't see any signs of mold or anything in here. Because I did so many things wrong. Especially during the inoculation pro process or part like okay first of all i didn't even realize that there was a second bag over this so this bag it was like this when i first had it and there was another bag wrapped around it which i didn't notice so when i went to put the syringe through it i only pierced through the first bag and not this bag into the spawn and substrate so that's the first thing i did wrong okay and then i had to pierce through it again and I didn't sterilize the syringe or nothing. So I think it's a miracle right now that the mycelium's not contaminated. But especially after that too, I let I left I left my heater on and left for the day. And when I came back, my temperature therm thermometer said hundred degrees. So this was all mushy and moving around everywhere. It was it wasn't looking too good, but it pulled through and here we are about 16 days later with my ceiling on. It's actually pretty amazing. Sun on top right there. I'm thinking, look at that. It's still not hard yet, so I'm probably gonna wait three days just not touch it at all and then from there i will after that i check i'll check back on it and if it, the mycelium is like up to here i think i'm gonna break it apart and yeah but that that'll be in the next video okay mm. it's great but i actually changed my closet around a little because before my first video, y'all could see that my clothes were getting in the way and I wasn't too happy about that. So instead of having the tub down there, I moved it up here. That way it's away from the ground, the dirty ground, and my clothes won't be an issue with stuff falling down and into the tub. So yeah, it's staying up there and I got some temperature thermometers let's see what time let's see what temperature it is up there oh 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 shit 70 73 i saw that so yeah it, pretty sure it's supposed to be closer to the like 75 to 80 in between those degrees but i mean that'll have to do for now there's literally it'll be perfect too because there's a window like right behind me that way so the sun will shine in on that and you know it'll go from there and i was actually debating too on whether or not i should put the colonized bag in there like once it's fully colonized to let it fruit in there because i was thinking of just doing the bag tag and let it fruit in the bag but after looking at like the yields from the shrooms and 
realizing that it's much smaller, I decided to, you know, just stick with the old plan and use the tub. But, I mean, yeah. Guys, next video, I'm gonna be, let's see, what am I gonna be doing? Okay, I'm gonna have to crush the bag up and then let it fully colonize again. And then after that, once it's done, I'm gonna cut the bag and then put it in the tub. So that's gonna be the next video, which will be in a couple weeks once this is done taking its time and going slow. But yeah, I'm just grateful that the mycelium is growing and it's not contaminated. So, I mean, we'll be going from there, guys. Oh, actually, I'm going to be showing y'all. Let me show y'all some footage, like, right now of the GoPro footage from the inoculation. So, you can see how terrible it was. So, I mean, yeah, guys, I mean, look at my room. It's like, it's not big, it's like, or I guess it's big for inoculating stuff that you don't want to get contaminated, but it worked out. All I did was spray Lysol up there. I sprayed a ton, just not, not, not like my whole room, just on my like table where I inoculated it. And then from there, waited 10 or 15 minutes. And after that, I got my, I got the bag over, got the syringe, I wiped down everything, put on some gloves, and from there, I sprayed a bunch of alcohol, literally everywhere, and I inoculated. So, I mean, it works out, you know? I got this big room. Who knows if that's gonna work out again the next time I do this, but this time it worked, so it's going good. I'm not, I'm not using a, small fruiting chamber or nothing like that i'm just keeping it simple i guess trying to best i can but yeah all right that's it that's literally it so far next video as i said i'll be updating the bag will be fully colonized unless don't want to say unless something happens with the bag but i'm having high hopes right now so yeah enjoy the process guys